app. Bro app. Bro app. I'm this sorry. is amazing. Um, what it is, a couple guys from Australia who are only identifying themselves by their first names because this app is considered slightly controversial. Not terribly controversial, just slightly controversial. What it is, is it's for guys to want to send nice texts to their, their lady friends and um, without putting much work into it. You can, essentially it's called a bro app because you're supposed to spend more time with your friend, your bros, and less time spending sending texts to your, your lady. And what it is, is it, it essentially, you can schedule these text messages. Um, you have an assortment to choose from. A lot of them like, hey, hey babe, what you up to tonight? Miss you, hey babe, I'm leaving work now. A lot of babes, I don't know, I guess. Apparently that's the cool pet name in Australia. Um, but you can personalize these out. So it's not necessarily you're sending a generic message. And it's almost, I, I took it almost as like a hoot suite where you can schedule out your, your text messages to your lady in, in this case. And, and there, you can be like, oh man, there's gonna be a lot of problems with this. What if you're next to your, your girlfriend or whatever? Uh, there are actually safeguards built into the app where if in case your girlfriend was looking at your phone, it hides the app. <laughs> And also, <laughs> he's playing. He's playing Flappy, Flappy Bird. Bird. <laughs> but yeah, and more. Uh, I think more interesting than the intrusion detector is the Wi-Fi detector and yeah. contact detector. Yeah, it it, so, it it's able to tell if you're on your girlfriend's Wi-Fi, and also if you're in the process of texting your girlfriend. So it won't like generate these generic messages while you're genuinely having a conversation. It's, it, the technology is really interesting, I think, as far as what's going into this and how much is into it. It is $1.99 on the Google Play Store, mm -hmm. if you want to pick that up. Not on iOS yet. Not on iOS. It says coming soon on the site. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, they're probably having an issue getting our, getting approval access to the... No, probably, it's probably not that. It's probably getting access to um, contact, like that contact detector feature. Yeah. Apple's not usually willing to give access to call logs and message logs yeah so i i don't i don't know how i'm sure there there's probably a tricky way to get around it mm -hmm. but it's not it's not something that is easy to do and as much as it's kind of gotten some flack it's it's almost kind of a neat app in regards to i am horrible at remembering dates that are beyond like things from other people someone might say oh i have a job interview blah 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 i have an appointment blah 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 on this day i could schedule out a text to a friend that says good luck on your test good luck on your uh, your job interview to show up an hour before this and look like a superhero, essentially, because I remembered this very important thing to my friends. And it, it just, you know, you already have so much to think about. Why should I have to worry about texting my girlfriend or boyfriend? I just love this app. I think it's amazing. I just got a text from my wife. It says, I better not get an automated text from your bro app. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the thought was, and, I, and my... Um, my friend uh, Adrian, my, my little roomie friend, and I were talking about it that if there should be another side of this app where you should be able to send automatic texts about uh, go stop at the store and pick such and such up from the grocery store or something, go buy this or just other honey do lists. You could automatically, I mean, it would kind of be well, the I feel like, uh, I mean, that's kind of what I use reminders on my mm -hmm. iPhone for. Like, and it's really good about context. Like, I had something where, like, uh, if I remind, I don't know what time I'm getting home, but I need to do, you know, email this guy when I get home like for something I did last night <laughs> sorry um and uh and I said okay remind me to do the call this guy when I get home and it actually knows about a block away I get the update and I'm like oh you gotta do that thing and I know to do it as soon as I get home um so I mean I like that aspect I think is already kind of there yeah you know you don't need an extra app for it but I think there's probably a lot of apps that do that too but um I like it. I, 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 think, I think it's funny. I think it's fun. I mean, I, I, I know people um, in my life that would definitely could benefit from this and scheduling out several texts to several ladies at several times. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, think we all know oh, somebody like this. So, so you're saying we should use it for lady management as far as multiple ladies. Hey, management. fellas, the lady management. Hey, it could be lady management, fellow management. Why can't I send it to my guys? My, my harem of men, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Show title, Harem of Men. Um, <laughs> but 
I, I actually, I think, I think it's a great app. I mean, it's, it's take, if you look at a lot of the articles, articles, it's taking a lot of heat because like I said, technology is totally changing the way that we interact with each other and we are having relationships and, and it's, you know, I, I don't have time to send sweet messages to my girlfriend. So I'm going to just schedule them out.